What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog, and I'm back with another review. And this time it's on the Star Wars The Force Awakens Han Solo. This is the three and three quarter inch line. Uh, the packaging looks just like if you looked at my last view on the Star Wars Black Series three and three quarter inch line. Uh, you'll notice I didn't like a few things, and I actually ended up returning those figures. The Darth Vader couldn't hold his saber, and it was just a bunch of other problems. Now, we're returning with, I believe this is Wave 3 of the Star Wars Black exclusive Walmart 3-3 uh, three three quarter inch line, and I'm going to start off with uh, Han Solo here. So, um, uh, so this is a figure. It's a very cool looking figure. Uh, this one has hips that goes front to back, unlike the rest of them. All the new sculpts. I mean, this is probably a new sculpt. They probably did a new head. It looks like, I mean, I'm not sure. It looks kind of like they might have reused the body or something, just the way the hip design is. Because if you look, the hips just go front to back. But to tell you the truth, even though they don't go outward, it's a lot better than, um, than the rest of the line. Just as an example, this is what the rest of the line looks like. It has those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle hips where you have to turn it sideways to get it to go up. So it's foots that way. And you can maneuver it by by spinning the twisting knee. Um, but you can't, you can't bring the figure forward. If you bring it forward, it twists up like this. I mean, that's that's natural. And it will go out, but you have to twist it up sideways to bring it forward. And that's absolutely ridiculous. And if you have the figure in hand and you have it like you want to go forward, I mean, the way the legs are molded, um, it's a little wide for it to make it look natural. And if you look at the butt, it looks a little unnatural. But Finn is for another line. I picked up uh, five of these figures. And this one is for Han Solo. So these are just quick reviews. Uh, he's got a soft goods uh, trench coat. It's got like a... Type of like an Endor style. I believe it's Endor anyway. Um, trench coat, kind of like a deco. It's like a camo style. And it is removable. And underneath he has his normal Han Solo get up with the vest, with the pouches. He's got the same uh, bandolier hanging down at his hips. And he does have a gun that I will show you in a second. So, we'll just take a quick look at this figure. He's got a seam down the back. It's a little unsightly, but for a three and three quarter inch figure. And uh, we just take, let's just take this off real quick. Um, this side gets hung up on the hand a little bit. So, let me just get it going here. And there we go. All right, so looking at the figure without it on. This is the figure without the trench coat on and his gun actually slipped out of his holster and the holster is pegged in right here I'll show you I don't want to keep doing it too much but if you look he's got a peg can you see that uh, I get the hand out of the way uh, yeah, I'll, show, I'll bring it down so see see the peg and there's a hole right at, right in his top of his kind of like where his top of his butt crack would be, and you peg it in, and it holds it in at the hanging level that he likes to keep it at. So that's kind of cool. Uh, posability, we have hinge and swivel shoulders. We have hinge and swivel elbows. We have a ball-jointed head. Not very much range, but you can get some up. A little bit of down. A little bit of tilt, you know, side to side. That's good. He just has the hips to go forward, but like I said, I like them better because they don't have the T-joints. He has hinge and swivel knees. Uh, it will go about that far. And his ankle joints will go down. They will go up. And they will swivel around. No ankle tilts or anything. And he does have uh, a waist swivel, but it's up at his abdomen, so it's more like a... Uh, what do you call those? Uh, well, it's, it's not quite a waist swivel, but it's up I forgot what they call those, um, but it'll go it'll go forward and back a little bit. It'll go mostly back, so it goes back a little bit. And uh, yeah, he's got some wrist swivels, no hinges. And uh, one thing about these this line is is their figures can definitely hold the weapons really well. 
So I like that. And what I do is I turn the elbows around so you can get a full 90. If you give it the way the, 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 sh the packaging wants you to have it like this. But I always swivel them around opposite so it gives you the full 90 degree bend. Some of them have more. But that's pretty much my review, guys. Um, uh, the ab crunch here. Um, oh, no. There, yeah. Is pretty cool, and this this is also removable. The best I wanted to say that uh, I haven't removed it, and I'm not planning on it, but I believe you can. You can see the paintwork in the hair. It's got a couple tones of, a couple shades of paint there. Not bad. Textured look on the vest. The brown pants with the yellow stripe. There's some wrinkles. The good good sculpt work. A good figure. Um, and that's a wrap. If you got something to say, leave it in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Got lots more reviews coming. And share with your friends, and we'll catch you next time. Choo, choo, choo.